Welcome back to Good Morning Sri Lanka. My name is Banu along with my co-host Amaya. Well, just before the break, you heard a great song by Lenka. One of those music videos that just blew, blew you away for sure because it's one of our producer's favorite songs as well. Uh, something to do with babies. Um, he's in the mood for babies, I know. <laughs> So something is happening. I don't know what to call it. In I Hindi, know. you call it kuch kuch hota hai. <laughs> something, something is happening. Something, yeah. something is happening, but we yeah. don't know what's happening actually, Banu. But the yeah. song might have been a hint. Don't you think? I Maybe, think our producer you know, trying to tell us I something. I also felt it. You show. know, it's mutual <laughs> feeling that we got. <laughs> yeah. That. yeah. Let's see. But on the subject of babies, now we've been speaking to Arundhati about how to prepare for a newborn. If you mm. are prepared to become parents in the near future, and uh, like she, she the main thing that we got out of the last segment was that it's all about preparation and it's all about planning yourself and making sure that uh, having a vision as well mm -hmm. to know okay. exactly <laughs> what you want in life and then you know uh, coming <laughs> to uh, um, how do I say it come to an agreement with your partner and then it all depends on the hard work um, your financial stability and the entire package I would say mm -hmm. um, so stress about having um, after effects of child birth that is also another theme that we need to uh, follow on and understand upon your thoughts on that. Well, uh, generally it's called baby blues. Mm -hmm. Baby blues is, uh, most women go through this, uh, I could say 80% of women go through this because this is due to the fact that uh, the hormone levels are very high. Okay. okay. After childbirth. Mm -hmm. So, uh, little, little effects can be getting upset to everything, crying a lot, uh, tiredness, uh, lack of uh, sleep. But uh, you need to keep uh, in mind that baby blues should generally fade away within about a couple of weeks time. Okay, right? okay. But even if you're feeling this uh, kind of uh, emotions, you need to express it to your partner and your family because you really need to discuss this. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you will feel that, okay, I'm a bad mother that, you know, I oh. can't look after my baby. So that mm -hmm. is adding on mm -hmm. to the misery you're already feeling. So with a lot of support, you can sort out the baby blues. But there's another side of it's called PPD. Mm -hmm. That's a post parental uh, disorder now that is a bit I could say severe okay okay right so for a depression like that you will have some symptoms of the baby blues but this is more severe uh, where you might um, have no appetite at all like uh, you might not eat for a couple of days mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. or when you start eating you might eat for uh, like uh, non-stop I right. see. Okay. So, um, and then you might not be able to sleep, but when you start sleeping, you'll be sleeping for days, right? Mm -hmm. And um, even thinking of harming your baby, oh. right? It goes to that extent, extent, does it? and even committing suicide, mm -hmm. right? So, if you think you are having this kinds of feeling, you really need to consult a doctor. So, uh, when you get these feelings to be very precise, uh, is, is, the li is the woman aware of herself that she is going through a symptom like this? Of course. Mm -hmm. She feels depression. Depression is something you feel. Especially when you feel like that for a baby, you really need to click like, okay, something is wrong. I need no, as to in express it. Is she aware that she is suffering from the PPD um, or does she think it's natural? No. That's what I'm asking. No. They don't think it's natural no? because it's impossible for a mother to feel like that okay. towards mm -hmm. a child mm -hmm. because they know something's wrong, but sometimes they feel guilty about expressing it. Yeah, to yes. the because they think that how can someone uh, feel that way towards their own child? The child? If they feel like harming their child or if they don't feel like a great mother, then again that guilt is there more yeah. than anything else. Yes, of course. But you need to uh, be open about this because if you don't mm -hmm. handle it. Uh, in the beginning okay. it's going to be very complicated in the latter stage i see okay and also we have to remind our viewers that uh, any uh, sort of medical conditions that we discuss on the show uh, with arundhati as well you must consult a doctor before you take any action against if you even if you know someone who has these symptoms or you feel that uh, you have these symptoms yourself it's very important again to consult a doctor immediately mm -hmm. and to take action uh, after the consultation isn't that very important arundhati? it's very important because mm -hmm. you need to analyze like where you are 
Okay, right. Okay. But uh, if you're feeling like uncertainties and if you're not your usual self, this is the way you should uh, really try to analyze it. You need to speak about it and if you think it's not going to work with the family support, you need to go to a doctor. And also, even if uh, the mother herself doesn't feel it, if you are the spouse or the other family members like the parents or the grandparents, for example, even if they see that something is wrong and they're not reacting in a natural way, then again, they should uh, consult a doctor and take her there immediately, right? Yes, I think they should get involved at that point. But mm -hmm. mostly, uh, most women do know when they feel this. It's I just that okay. it's a matter of fact how they face it. Mm -hmm. But they all know what okay. it is. And what's the uh, duration normally? You said for uh, the normal stress, it goes on about a couple of weeks, weeks. perhaps a fortnight. But for this uh, PPD situation, how, how long is it? Anything after that. Oh really? Okay. So, because, it can go so it's on much serious and it's a long term uh, process if you can call it. Yeah, because it is mm -hmm. just not the hormone changes. Okay. This can be a case of having depression even before birth. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. So it's a bit complicated. It's complicated and it's a situation that should be remedied as soon as possible, soon I'm as sure. Because uh, at the end of the day, it could affect how you feel about having another child even. And um, all of those decisions that you can make in the future, I'm sure. Even if you get over that depression. Even starting on focusing on your child at that moment. moment. Um, but mm -hmm. what's the percentage, like how many people, how many ladies out there who would get this? Now you said for the normal stress service is 80%, mm -hmm. right? For this sort of... Uh, symptoms to take place? I could say from 80 to 20, 20 percent. Okay, so it varies. It varies. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. But uh, it's always a joy to have a child in the house. Of course. It really is. And uh, they do, I mean, they might be mischievous and they <laughs> might drive you mm -hmm. up a wall sometimes, but they're also very sweet and they're innocent and you can always look back mm -hmm. on the things that they did as children mm -hmm. and uh, really be, you know, glad about it and they're sweet memories to have. But cool. so, Everyone, I think at the end of the day, most people would love to have children, and, or no matter how much work goes into, into it. it. Uh, but um, when it comes to a couple who are unable to bear their own children, then they start looking for other ways of, you know, having the same sort of light in their house, if you would say it like that. So um, We do have options for that as well in the real world, options. in the current world of context. We do have adoption, we have surrogacy. So um, how do you explain that further? Because it's a very complicated topic. I actually feel that we need to discuss this more on another day as well, where we go really into detail. So how do you look at that? And uh, when do you exactly know whether you are planning and ready for adoption, maybe? Well. Um, start off with I would say adoption is a really good idea okay right it's a nice idea mm -hmm. but um, how can I say the motives have to be clear mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so uh, depends on your motives you'll know exactly whether you're ready for it why I say this is as you said uh, the first step for adopting a child is uh, not being able to conceive on your own right mm -hmm. okay fine or it can be the fact that you just have one child and you want a playmate for the child mm -hmm. or the triggers can be that you know you have excessive amount of finances but you don't have a child mm -hmm. uh, these mm -hmm. triggers are fine but uh, the motive should be only one track it should be you are adopting a child because you really love a kid Yes. Because the rest of it all generally fades away because, see, we are human. And this emotionality in your mind about not being yours biologically can come to play at one point. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right? So, when you are not sure about it, you should not take that step. Because for me, um, adapting is, the only difference should be that you are not giving birth to this child biologically. But the rest of it is has to be the same. You have to be that mom, you have to be that dad, you can't that have changes. emotional connection should be there. has to be there. Okay. Otherwise, I think you should not take up that challenge. I see. Mm -hmm.